COVID-19 has brought about rapid changes in all of our lives. It's forced us to make major adjustments in businesses and in our schools and universities and colleges. It has forced teachers, principals, chancellors to embrace media in a whole new level and technology. It's forced us to understand how broadcasting can be used in a virtual classroom to educate and engage our students in a whole new way. And it's been at a rapid acceleration to make it happen. And with that, it's caused some tension. There are questions. Will our students engage through this virtual classroom? Will the grades and the education level continue to advance or will this cause us to slump back because it's not in real life? I'd like to give you some simple points to help you out here today. Just a couple simple points to help you because I believe the virtual classroom can be a powerful tool going forward into the new school year. The first thing you wanna do is stand up and present your material, teachers. Communicate, lead, put your energy into it. No matter where you're presenting from, don't sit behind the desk. Stand up and bring your body, your mannerisms, all your things that you normally use in the classroom, bring it to the virtual stage. Oh, and make your classroom a stage. Engage them as if you are on the biggest stage and it's the most exciting thing for them to be with you as you stand up and present. Number two would be create an environment that screams excitement, fun, education. If you're in a science lab, try to have a science lab. If you're in a literature class, get around a bunch of books. Do something that communicates this is fun and exciting and don't doze off. You're going to miss something good. Use a virtual backdrop if you want to or just create a great setting that allows it to communicate you're in the classroom and this is fun but don't make it look like a classroom <laughs> number three is learn to engage the students in unique and fun innovative ways use a poll questionnaire in the middle of the class so the students can track it in real time open up the chat boxes allow them to engage ask questions or have breakout sessions this is a great one have them break out into smaller groups. The main room stays live and active, and then go off and they do their small group for a time period. It's all preset. They come on back in and you can ask team leaders to share what the groups have come up with. It's engaging, it's thoughtful, it's fun, it's entertaining, and whether we like it or not, teachers, leaders, we now are part of the entertainment industry. There must be an element of fun and entertainment that your students will check out. One key element, of course, is gonna be you have to learn to present and rock it in a fun and passionate way. You have to get used to looking at yourself on camera and being okay and bring it the best you can. I'd like to offer you the opportunity to get some help, some tips, and some insights, maybe on what you're struggling with. Contact me for a free 15-minute consultation on how to rock the virtual stage. But your classroom can be the most powerful new thing in the new school year. If you're an administrator, if you're a chancellor, if you run the school organization, if you would like to have me get online and coach you for a virtual teacher seminar, contact me and I'll bring one of my workshops to you and to your team to help them better understand how to rock it. Education is important. We do not want it to fall off. We do not want things to slide backwards. This is a new frontier for many of us and it's scary and it's overwhelming but it doesn't have to be. Education can be just as powerful, just as innovative, just as creative if we learn how to rock the virtual stage. I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. I'd love to hear from you and help you with your virtual classrooms. Until next time, have a great day and rock the stage.